And for some of you that have never been to a Hot Wheels convention or a Nationals, here's a little bit of footage uh, of me walking around and some of the events that uh, that happen at the uh, at the event event events. to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. We just got back from the Hot Wheels Collectors Nationals in Atlanta. And for some of you that have never been to a Hot Wheels convention or a Nationals, here's a little bit of footage uh, of me walking around and some of the events that uh, that happen at the uh, at the event, event events. Normally there's people from all over the world and uh, you get to see stuff from Japan, Germany, uh, Australia, all kinds of stuff that you never see here in the U.S. You know, you might see it on the internet, uh, but yeah, it's amazing. Uh, the cool stuff that you get to find, uh, the cool stuff and the cool people that you get to meet. Um, the rooms, there were probably, well, there were 15 floors, all right? Each room that a collector was in was open, and it looked like this, all right? People brought stuff, and they filled each one of those hotel rooms with toys. You walk in there, you uh, see something, you you buy it, or you trade, or whatever. Uh, it's it's amazing. There were probably, I don't know, 12, 1,300 people there. And like I said, 15 floors of Hot Wheels. But uh, yeah, there is a uh, an, an auction for... Uh, Children's Miracle Network, and um, they raised uh, an awful lot of money. I'm going to let Paul tell you about that, and uh, also our friend Carl. So uh, check this out, and uh, like I said, it's a little bit of of what goes on at the Nationals.
638. Thank you very much. This is a pretty big one. Hot Wheels Banner. Uh, welcome Hot Wheel Collector Banner from the 18th Nationals in Dallas, Texas. Donated by Collectors and Vents on the there's not many of these around. Looking for and a quarter. Bucket of bucket road runners. 400. Right? Looking for four and a quarter. 400 looking for four and a quarter. 400 looking for four and a quarter. We're gonna go once, twice. Souls, $400 for number 679. Yeah, give him a hand. Laser etched insulated mug. Keeps your cocktails warm, keeps your cocktails cold. Depends upon what you like. We have some cocktails that would go very well in those glasses. Suck it up. Pink lady, Look up. Pink laser etched mug once. What? 100? Once. Twice. Sold 100 for ticket number 85. Thank you. And thank you, Chris and Mike, for the offer. I got tongues if you need them. You're all right. I get a big one. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, that's nice. There you go. You want to take your mask down so the world? Get out of here. Take the mask see who you are. Go ahead and take the mask down so the whole world see who you are. There you go. That's the man who ripped open his. <laughs> hey, Dave. It's beautiful. <laughs> I already ripped it. You missed it. You missed the ripper. I hope that made a few of you cringe. <laughs> There it is, and when you open it, it's uber detailed. So rip one open. You got a painted blower, you got painted gas tanks, you got detailed everything to the hilt. Rip one open and take a look at it. And for those of you that just kind of had a little queasy look, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sure. <clears throat> Another one, folks. Did you look at that? The Dior. You know what's really cool about this? What's underneath the surfboards. But guess what? You can't see it unless you open it. <laughs> see, ready? Let's rip another one. On Mike. <laughs> God, that sounds good. <laughs> and that looks almost good until you do this. We don't need no surfboards when I'm in California. 
<laughs> Welcome to the East Coast. You're enjoying that way. I am definitely enjoying this. And this is a really, really cool Li Wei Chang tiki face that you can see, or almost see, right on the bed cover. Really, really cool. So if you want to see it, rip yours open. Just rip it. Hey guys, take a look on the blister card. There's a couple of really neat things that are on there. But you might want to reach out to, to Leeway and kind of find out what it is. There's a couple of pieces right underneath here that kind of tell you what's on there and what it means to him from a significant. We got some fish. There's an extra building on the card. So they're not the same. Check your card. It's a variation. And I just opened it. <laughs> Enjoy that. If you guys want to come take a look at them at the end, I'll have them up here. Hey, brother. All right, after the charity, if I can uh, get the frog out of my throat. Um, this event was special. I mean, it's something that was unusual. It shows what the collector community can do. The donations for the auction, the attention to everything you guys did for us to raise money was something that is totally different from what happened in the past. So for all of you who donated, for all of you who created things, for all of you who went over the top to make sure we had things to auction, to raise for kids and families that need it, we appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. So a round of applause to all of you folks. All of you that participated, and almost everybody did in one manner or another. And we appreciate that. Your response was overwhelming, your patience was overwhelming, and your hearts were open to what we do. Thank you. Now, our uh, sale of our charity car, which was the uh, drag dairy, that was a sellout. We had 500 pieces, and that raised a gross number of $19,000 for charity. The charity raffle, which everybody seemed to enjoy a lot, because there was a lot of nice things donated by Collectors Events Unlimited. A uh, real nice piece by the Hot Wheels Mafia, which we appreciate immensely. We sold 603 sets of tickets, which raised $6,030. Button Bingo contributed another $20,000 in gross. Charity Poker, $4,400. And at the auction, I saw a lot of people running around with sweet treats. That was kind of unique. And all of that money was donated by Collectors Events Unlimited and we that gave us an extra thousand dollars for that. <laughs> Sale of the past charity cars this year, we raised another $5,430. And I, from looking at the faces, a lot of us were at the auction, which was really awesome. We had roughly a hundred lots because we had add-ons. Um, the number I'm reporting might be a little shy of what it actually is. It'll change when I do the update in the newsletter because there's more money that's coming in or has come in that we didn't register yet. But at auction, we raised $31,055 from all of you folks and all of your contributions. And we had another $1,000 in cash donations which put our grand total which is quite great for what we had to work with. $87,915. Thank you all. This was unique. Everybody stepped up. 
I hope we can continue this because the collectors and the continuity that we have with one another is marvelous. Thank you. Back to you. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate that. How about that, folks? A little over $87,000. Pretty amazing. In this group right here in the room. So, so there's a little surprise for Jennifer that she has no idea what's about to happen. None whatsoever. Chris Walker did something. I'm going to let Chris do the explanation. He's always Better doing something. Is he in trouble again? Yes. He's in the principal's office. Uh-oh. I will be after this, so I hope y'all like this. <laughs> I'm going to hear about it. problems and all that. You guys are all aware that it affected everybody's life. <clears throat> but for the fact, past year, we haven't been able to do this, and you can't imagine what these two went through to cancel the event after they already had it going on. This is, this is hard enough as it is, but for them to do it two times in a row, plus get everybody's car mailed out, they're not in the shipping business. <laughs> they're in the, we're going to have an event, and you guys are going to have a good time business, which we all do. But for them to cancel it two shows in a row for the last year, it was daunting. You have no idea. So for that, with Mark's assistance, I made her a little something special. What's your favorite card, Jennifer? What? The purple passion. Turn around. certainly back in Charlotte. So, folks, have a good evening. Thank you so much. Have a good night. What do you think of that? Pretty cool, huh? Can you believe the amount of money that was raised for charity by everybody at the event? That's pretty cool. Uh, one of the really cool things about uh, this hobby, there's a lot of people out there that, um, that really love what they do and uh, don't mind sharing the money that they have for charity. Always, always cool. Actually, uh, I bought a pizza uh, at the auction. Uh, I got it pretty cheap. It was $35. And uh, I think the last one went for like $200. And uh, ate that, me and Walker. And then I gave some, gave the rest of it away. And Walker um, doodled on it. And we put it back in the auction, the empty box. That is, he didn't doodle on the pizza. He doodled, uh, did some drawings on the uh, on the pizza box. Brought it back up to the uh, to Carl and uh, got a hundred bucks for it. So, um, you know, th those are the kind of things that are really, really cool, uh, especially the people that are at these events. All, all hot wheel people, great people. So, uh, yeah, that was that, that was pretty neat. We had a great time, super, super great time. So, uh, I want to thank everybody again, Mark and Jennifer Milholland for uh you know their hospitality and making sure everything runs smoothly and and they do a great job so until the next time we see you right here at hot wheels tv you guys take care of yourselves hopefully we'll see everybody in la so don't forget please subscribe please tell your friends please give us a thumbs up leave us a comment in the bottom and please be kind to one another all right we'll see you later bye bye